Hey guys, this is my um, RepRap Prusa Aurora i3 I just finished assembling. And uh, I got all the uh, components assembled and wired up. And as you can see, it's kind of messy still, but we need to do some testing before we get everything cleaned up and put away. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some power to this thing. It had not had any power to it yet. And uh, we're going to see if we can uh, make it go to its home position, which is should be in the lower left corner and the uh, y-axis or the tray should slide all the way to the back. So let's come over here and plug it up. Let's see, there's the plug. And see what happens. Well, look at that, we got power. We wired something up right. Um, so that's good. Let's see what it's saying here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read this. So I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. And basically, that's what the screen looks like. It kind of shows you the temperature of things and where the position of stuff should be. Um, but what we want to do is we want to do a test here to see if we can make this thing go to its home position. and That'll tell us if we've got our stepper motors wired up. Uh, if our, if our um, <laughs> wiring is correct in general, if we got everything hooked up in the right location. Uh, so like I said, the tray should move to the rear. Uh, the extruder head on the x-axis should move over to the left and then down. So let's see what happens. Now we're going to come up here, go to the menu. I think it's under prepare. Yeah, auto home. That's what we want. So here we go. You ready? Okay, that looks good. The x-axis is working. The y-axis is working. And look at that, the z-axis is working. It's going down. Let's see if it stops in the right place. It does. How about that? So, a successful test. So, now it's time to start calibrating this thing. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Either it was going to blow up or it was going to work or something was going to go wrong, but... Uh, thanks to the great instructions online and everything, I was able to get everything hooked up correctly. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, try and post a video when I get ready to print something after calibration. Thanks.